the uh, Boston Celtics versus the Memphis Grizzlies. At point guard, we got Michael Jordan. Shooting guard, we got Kobe Bryant. Small forward, we got Scotty Pippen. Power forward, we got Tim Duncan. And at center, we got Kristaps Porzingis. And for the Grizzlies, they have Darius Garland at point guard. Josh Giddy at shooting guard. Julius Irving, 99. Bam! Small forward, Larry Johnson at power forward, and Mel Daniels. Let's get it. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The scene is being set here in Memphis, Tennessee at FedEx Forum. The Celtics taking on the Grizzlies. Ba, 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 ba. For the Boston Celtics, an excellent year so far, claiming second place in the East. As they delve deeper into the season, they continue to set their sights high. Grizzlies, Celtics is next, oh. and we'll be right back. I forgot to change my uh. Boom shakalaka. Win total. Ten and two. Ten and and two. Best wishes for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan, and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Darius Garland is drawing comparisons to another all-time Cavs point guard, four-time all-star Mark Price. Now, Price said, I do see it. I really like his game. They come into the NBA so young now. All Darius has to do is stay. He's going to be a star for a long time. Well, if anyone would know, Kevin, it would be him. Back to you. You're exactly right. They're both dead-eye shooters, aren't they, David? We appreciate that report. Thank you. And now the opening lineup for Boston. They've got Pippen. Porzingis is out there with Duncan. Then it's Jordan. And it's Bryant in at the shooting guard position. And for the Grizzlies, they've got Garland. Johnson is out there with Irving. Then it's Josh Giddy, And it's Daniels in at the five, roaming the paint. We know trade talks have really ramped up here recently. And being a part of a rumor or Steve actually being traded can really affect the player mentally. Yes, Kevin, especially the first time it happens. It's a business. And as a player, you have to learn that quickly. You have to try not to take it personally. Now, here's Jordan. Porzingis inside. He's covered by Daniels. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And it's 7 3. Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of ability. Give me that foul, baby. Give me that foul. And so far this season, it's it's been average at best at the line, only 71% as a shooter. That free throw good from Porzingis. So he hits one of two from the strike. Memphis with the ball. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Boston. And going up against the team that broke their hearts a season ago in the finals. Now, here's Pippen. And he can be kind of to put some points on the board okay. every night. What the hell was that? That was a lot of body from Dr. J. A, a lot now, of body. Here's Irving. Scotty Pippen unable to get his shot to go. Irving. That shot, no good. Good work defensively by Pippen. Bryant passes to Persingas. And that dunk by Persingas. There you go. Good look, baby. Good luck. Brian Cody's been improving on that facet of his game. Last game for the Celtics. They pick up the win against the Wizards. Yeah, proficiency from range away from home. Much easier said than done. They played a terrific ball game. Yeah, and you could see the crowd's reaction with every make. It wasn't pretty. Dude, what the? Shot clock at five, and that one's good. I was trying to switch to Duncan, and I just put thing is just jumping, jumping, jumping. I'm like trying to switch to find himself to Duncan. Wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. The icon passing thing wasn't working. Good scores. Icon switching, I guess. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And the awareness 
of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here's Pippen following the score by Memphis. And it's Pippen's. Dr. J, I don't know about that defense, Dr. J. You, you could leap like Pippen. I mean, I do. Grizzlies have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. There's the pass to Irving. Johnson at the elbow. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. Tim Duncan picks it up. Two. Really, uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, at the line, force him to the line. The Grizzlies line. shoot their first Johnson. free throws of the evening. And they've had the really good numbers two. all season from the free throw line. The first free throw is good. So Johnson hits two of them. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. Ah, I missed Porzingis. Jordan against Garland. Jordan, the pass to Porzingis. Back to Jordan. Six to shoot. And they double up Jordan. For three, Pippen. And he's Here we go, Pippen. The ball. Pippen's got five now. Yeah, three for four now. I like the pace for them on offense. But Grizzlies off to a slow start. Four point game. Irving looking over the floor. Pass to Giddy. And no good. Now Boston takes it the other way. Outside Bryant. Michael Jordan on the wing. The 19 foot shot. Here's Duncan. And there's there you go, Duncan. With it on the offense. How did Jordan miss that? Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. And the Grizzlies call their first time out of the game. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Easy buckets. So Boston ends up going with a new group. Irving kicks to Billups. Back to Irving. And the best. Damn. He's got a chance here for one more at the line. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Austin leading by three. McGrady outside. Thirty left in the first quarter. Dishes it to Van Carroll. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And it's out of bio with the ball for Memphis. Here's Francis. Van Carroll grabs the board. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Oh, can I get a foul? For inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And uh, 101 left in the first quarter of the game. Damn, Dan Abadio looks tiny. Looks. Pass to Irving. Isaac with some nice D. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now, here's Simon. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And there you go. Gets it to go. Too big. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. There's 31 seconds left here in the first quarter. Outside, Billups to the left side wing. Kaminga the pass to Autobio. And two free 
Doesn't play outside of himself, and he's a quality teammate, too. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. He doesn't get the second one. Here is McGrady. Over car. Dude. Sometimes like things just take so long. Like I was trying to do a fadeaway that just like he's like, oh, I'm gonna just go and do three other moves. No thanks. Right at the rim. We've got more in store for you right after this. Ah, so unresponsive. This game can be so unresponsive sometimes. Make some noise. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. When you can turn animation, the and on top of animation, on top to of animation. Boy, the, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. They've got Prusinkis. Pippen is out there with Duncan. Then there's Kobe, and it's Brogdon in at the one spot. The feed to Daniels. It's hauled in by Prusinkis. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Pippen kicks to Brogdon. Off target from three-point range. I actually thought that was Simon. For Malcolm Brockton, he comes from a family grade where education comes first. And what Malcolm earned his degree plus a master's while in college. His dad and brother, lawyers, his mom involved in higher education. Brockton may be the smartest guy in the NBA. To the middle, here's Kobe. And good coming on the assist by Brockton. Now Kobe's got his first basket. They're finding lanes to the roof now with consistency. Five buckets in a row. I gotta be ready for those plays. They come, they they, they come pretty often. I just gotta be ready for them. Pass to Johnson. No good from outside. Celtics leading by six. Right side, Pippen. Over Carr. They get a hand on it. Outside for Pippen. Five on the clock. Ah, uh, that was stupid. I dribbled right into that, dude. Kobe against Giddy. The pass to Darwin. Back to Giddy. And the layup's good off the glass. Giddy. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Now, here's Brogdon. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. The wide open look here for Perzingis. There you go, Perzingis. And the Celtics lead by seven. A primary responsibility of Brogdon's. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to him. How's this? The Grizzlies have gone. Dude, what is this? They like the inbound the ball. And they're showing. And they're showing a replay. They like bring the ball up the court. Reporter, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. David. Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Giddy has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. King said he's really, really good. Irving's checked in for Memphis. Jordan, he's checked in for the Celtics. Substitution on the court. passes to Garland and another miss rebound go rebound and, the, and they're controlling the boards Kevin that's plus five in that category they go Jordan I've been shooting the ball well with Jordan lately but what is this yeah and that's back to back three the <laughs> why they show me the best whacking off a little bit the three from Garland and the three Man. Ball is good and they may be that was nice to be had inside. Jordan looking it over. Pass 
to Duncan. Now Kobe shoots from the elbow. Two minutes remaining. Out to time. Duncan. Two minutes. Second chance shot. He lays it in. Ten buckets. Duncan's got his second bucket of the night. And Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket. He has a number of moves to choose from. And that soft, delicate touch near the rim. A minute 50 left now here in the second. Passes it to Giddy. Now Daniels. Pass to Johnson. Takes a three. And again. Man. It's the I ain't gonna lie, Johnson shoot threes. Woo. He got a clean look and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Here's the pass to Jordan. On the wing, Bryant. Kitty defending. Shot clock at six. Kobe, what? no luck. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Garland dishes to Daniels. Pass to Giddy. That's basket number two you with this not. shot off to a Kobe. pass two for three. Yeah, keep up with that Giddy. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this. Duncan and too long on the shot. The Grizzlies trail by four. Johnson kicks to Irving. Passes to Garland. Sinks that one from the post. Garland's got five points now in the quarter. Nice little run here to shrink that deficit. But can they get over the hump? This is the tricky part. Having enough left in the tank to finish the job. Jordan outside. Top of the key for Zingas. Over Daniels. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Celtics lead by two. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime. I don't know why I hesitated. I should have just fired it when I kicked it back out. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Out in front of the half is Boston. They have a two-point lead. Kenny, how juicy. The passing is what kept the offense rolling. The communication has been tremendous. Guys are working as a unit and not as individuals. They've got to repeat that kind of ball movement in the second half. Jack, your take on Memphis. They need to play with better energy on D. These guys are going to sleep on them. Anyway. They've allowed over 50 shots. They've got way too many open looks. I'm sure they're here down the locker room. Maybe they'll come out in. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Kenny Smith say anything that at halftime? I don't think so. Make some noise. And as we get if you're going to have the halftime, have the halftime. So far, neither team oh, has a great much separation on the scoreboard yet. We've seen Larry Johnson really having a great game. Uh, there is no stopping him, and you can't even contain him at this point. He is that talented. Yeah, and sometimes the strategy in that case, don't let anyone else beat you. You know he's going to get his, so try and keep it to that. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. They've got Josh Giddy. Johnson is out there with Irving. Then there's Garland. And it's Daniels in at the five spot. And that's the group for Chandler Jenkins. As we begin the second half. It's good from long range. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. And Garland, a finalist for most improved player of the year in 2022 took a huge leap forward with his play. Now here's Kobe. For three, Pippen. It's rebounded what? by Giddy. I don't want to... Luis is stupid. 
And he's fouled oh, pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on for Zingas. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. For Garland, he put in the work, and it all came together for him, GM. And his shooting reached a tipping point. What was given the keys as a playmaker, and this is a great situation for him. Boy, he's made the most of it. The first one falls. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And so it's Boston with it. They trail by three. Jordan kicks to Porzingis. Dude, what the fuck was that? Shoot a jump shot. What was that so stupid hook? Who brings the ball up for the Grizzlies. Pass to Irving. Back to Johnson. He dishes it to Dan. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Uh, that's a tough ball for the ref to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Dan Caro comes in for Persingas. Tracy McGrady subbed in for Pippen. Jordan again serving. Outside, Kobe to end the run. No good. Shot missing. Now Memphis takes it the other way. But Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. Now, here's Johnson. Duncan with the block. And setting the tone with that rejection. Duncan, the defensive anchor of this team. Celtics trail by five. Here's McGrady. And he drops in the way up on the glass. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. And hold on. I was a scoring drought. And I'll call the Grizzlies. And coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Isaac's checked in for the Celtics. And Fernie Simons comes in for Bryant. Now the pass to Giddy. Knocked loose to the paint. Ah! The shot's good on the assist by Daniel. I didn't know I had control of Jordan. I took him out of the freaking play. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. Now, here is McGrady. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Dude. Rebound by Johnson. Oh, so annoying. Johnson's got six rebounds now in the game. Harlan finds Irving. Here's Giddy. And they recover. Johnson can't hit. Great position down low. He had more time to get that shot off than I think he realized. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Simons, the pass to Isaac. Outside for Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Shoots over Garland. Shot is good, and the Memphis leads cut down to three on the bucket from Jordan. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Now, here is Garland. He's got eight. Giddy. Up hey, what are we doing with Giddy? Giddy's like, got really? Ten points in the game. Continuing to stoke the fire. His shot making has been absolutely superb. This team has credited Giddy's background for shaping him as a player. You know, he grew up in a house dominated by basketball. Both his parents played professionally in Australia, and that goes a long way toward developing your basketball IQ. <laughs> and the what do you mean, early? Oh, she was perfect. 46 seconds left in the third quarter. Passes it to Irving. Shoots over Simon. And Irving gets it to go on the assist. Uh, Garland's got his fourth assist in this one. 
Two free throws first coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First and the defining trade of first the greatest first. of superstars. Jordan shooting makes the ball. players around him better mentally in terms of effort and in broken. terms of their performance. And a new group in for the Celtics. Bradley's checked in for Bancaro. Duncan comes in for Jonathan Isaac. Pippen's checked in for McGrady. And Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for Anferni Simon. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense in anticipation there to stop. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Brogdon outside. Jordan outside over Billups. Jordan's <laughs> shot is off. Stupid! Outside Billups. This Wide one for open. Three. Doesn't go for him. And we've reached the end of the third. The end of the third quarter. Up is out in front. As they end the third quarter with a 13 to 5 run. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Now my six. With us. Let's go shit in that third quarter. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the Oh my quarter. God, that's such bullshit. This is out there with Duncan. Then there's Pip. Then there's Kobe. Fucking and random. In at point guard. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Francis passes to Billings. Here's Francis. He is guarded by Brogdon. Here's Irving. Pass to Francis. Down to five on the shot clock. From outside the arc. Memphis the rebound. Tries it again. It's not going to go for him. Brogdon has got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Pippen with a wide open lob. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Practically automatic shot there by Pippen. He, he knows he just. Yeah, I needed that. I needed that big time. He is good to go. Outside Phillips. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Cloak loose. Here's Francis. Power down with both hands. Come on, Brock. Give us a defense. And there is no better way to add to the lead. In that third GA, especially when the slam is coming from the point guard. Who sends a message that we're going to be aggressive no matter who's taking the shot. So it's the Celtics now. Following the score by Memphis. Here's Pippen. In that. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Julius Irving. His agility makes Pippen so dangerous inside. He can create contact while also being able to get the shot on. And Memphis making a change here. Daniels has checked in. Smith checked in for the Celtics. And both free throws good for Pippen. Pippen simply put one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. Now here's Billups. Up there for Johnson. What? Takes the alley oop pass and dunks it down. Oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Bryant looking over the floor. Duncan finds Smith. And it's Bryant in the corner. Second chance effort. What that a freaking rebound. Holy shit. Cut down now to just four points with the basket from I Smith. I need some stops. I need some stops. That's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's Phillips. And Tim Duncan gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And some changes here for the Celtics. McGrady comes in for Pippen. And it's Jordan in for Smith.
just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. It's Garland, the Grizzlies with another miss. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Here's Jordan, and he finishes huge, nice and huge. Now just a two-point Memphis lead. Yeah, putting the team on his back as he often does. The tighter the game gets, the more Jordan wants the ball. Now here is Irving. That shot, no good. Two minutes remaining. And here is Jordan. Two minutes. Is that a three or two? All tied up now for the oh, it's a two. And such a clutch shooter. I mean, he lives with a big shot. And when he's rolling like this, watch out. Up top, Garland. Defended by Jordan. The Celtics have gone an outstanding four or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. 132 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to dunk. Porzingis with the ball. Six on the shot clock. The kick out to Brunt to take the lead. The Grizzlies pull it in. And now the Grizzlies. That's great. Here's Giddy. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. And Dr. J slams it in. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by two. One ten left in the game. Hit the wrong button on offense, man. Threw the wrong guy. Threw the icon pass against you in trouble sometimes. Hit the wrong button. Michael Jordan. And he's been dialed in from the field, Kevin. Good on over 60% of his attempts. They've been working the ball around well, and he's benefited with a lot of open looks. But boy, has he made the most of them. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David. Well, during the break, I listened in on Ime Udoka's huddle. He told him, hey, guys, this is a close game, but if we execute right here, I like our chances. There's a no talk. No. <laughs> what? Make the simple What? Oh, bullshit. That's bullshit. The lead is two. I win with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Fires it up. No good that time. And the Celtics going the other way now. Fires from the wings. Yes! And he has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. That is a huge an incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Now a timeout called by Memphis. It's tied at 49. We've got 33 seconds left. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Johnson left side. Something's ball, baby. Something's ball. Good hands, Jordan. Good hands. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. How big might that become? Just a brutal mistake. I shot it and he passed it. I don't understand that. I didn't. You're watching. I didn't pass the ball with Duncan. I shot it. God. Back to back overtime games. Back to back overtime games.
Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ball game. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. And the Celtics with possession here. We've got Johnson. He's out there with Irving. And it's Phillips in at the two. Back to Jordan. Over Billups. Jordan's shot is off. That's not late. And for the That's early, if anything. From the field. Not late. Here's Francis. Trying to get open is Irving. And that one's good, Francis. Francis has got the first points here in the overtime period for the Grizzlies. Had a and win rotation on it. Another great look at the 2K drop. Pass to Persingas. He kicks it to Duncan. And here's Jordan outside. Dude, what is happening all of a sudden? Everyone's so slow. Daniels has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Memphis. Larry. First one falls for Two shots. And Johnson drops them both. Not yeah, my four. That's who you want stepping to the line when the game is close. Outside, Jordan. He makes the game in overtime. Two Right wing. Six to shoot. No good from Duncan. I don't this understand these late. This is fucking bullshit. You just can't get it to go. And they'll get another chance. Here's Johnson, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Dude, these and late releases are such Daniels. bullshit. They're not late. If they're in the early, not late. Celtics trail by six. We're in overtime. And Dude, with Jordan's at point guard late game, like they take forever to run plays. Here's Jordan. Here's Duncan. Plays it up off the glass. The concentration from Duncan doesn't budge even in the biggest of moments. And I'll call the Grizzlies. They're in front by four. We've got 123 left in the first overtime. Josh Giddy's checked in for Chauncey Billups. Here's Francis, defended by Jordan. Francis' shot is off. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Now here's Johnson. Following the miss by Michael Jordan. Francis passes to Danny. Three seconds. And that one what the three second goal? He was in there forever. Second team foul. He hits the first one, and then puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Adding a little cushion to their advantage. Nice work at the line. To the inside, Porzingis. Yes! And you can rely on Porzingis in these moments. He's always ready to shoulder the load offensively. Now the Grizzlies with it. Passes to Giddy. Memphis moving it around. Here's Francis, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming out. Second personal foul. Third team foul. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. Yeah, and Francis, you know, he's an athletic point guard, plays with tremendous confidence, and really knows how to motivate his teammates. And I'm sure he would like to have had all of those, but he's still able to pad the lead. Jordan finds Porzingis. Oh, Dude, that's not that's not late. With a triple. God damn. And now he decides to foul attention. This that's Porzingis. His third personal foul. 14 foul. At the line for the Grizzlies. Steve That's the first. Now that's bullshit. Their lead to six. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. 
And Sporzingas with the ball. He'll bring it up for Boston. It drops. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Coming through when it matters most. Kobe drives under pressure. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're up by three. 19 seconds left to play in the first overtime. And so here's Memphis. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. That's right. No other option but to foul and for some misses. Steve Benson. The first free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a five-point game. Nice job extending the lead and making this a two-possession game now. Time called here, and the Celtics decide to talk it over. They're trailing by five. There's 18 seconds left to play an OT, and this battle continuing. Guys, your thoughts? Looking for a quick shot, trying to extend the game. And on a defensive end, they'll have to foul whomever gets the ball. No time left to be picking. And he commits the intentional foul. Like, I don't understand, like, why Jordan was, like, stumbling around the three-point line. God. Couldn't just catch that clean. He drops the first one, and that then cruises their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Guys, why are we calling fucking timeouts? Really? To talk it over. They trailed by seven. Twelve seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Substitution on the court. Here's Smith. Pass to Bradley. Dude, this fucking to Smith. Isaac outside. Yeah. So it's Memphis picking up the win. They escaped with a victory, although they didn't. There was so much bullshit that happened this game. A great game. From like being in like, like literally hammering on the bench it was just all about while I'm inbounding the ball and then random and shit for Steve Smith Greg Anthony and David Aldridge this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us we'll see you next time